In a recent video on this channel, we coded the BOGO sort sorting algorithm in Java. That was so ridiculous and so inefficient that it took about five hours to sort 14 numbers. Now the algorithm that we're going to code in this video is even more ridiculous and I think has the potential to be even slower. My name is John and I do a new Java tutorial video every single week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss each week's video. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description if you're interested. If not, that's awesome too. I'm thrilled to have you here. And as always, the full source of this program is available in a link down in the description, so go and get it. Okay, the sorting algorithm we're going to implement today is called Bozo Sort. Playing off the silliness of Bogo Sort, but this one is even more dumb and ridiculous. So with Bogo Sort, remember that each time you just shuffle the list into some random order and then just check to see if it was sorted or not. And if it wasn't, you just kept shuffling the list. And that Bogo Sort video is here in case you haven't seen it. This one is similar, where you do just check the list to see if it's sorted, but if it's not, instead of shuffling the list, you just take two random elements of the list and swap them with each other. So we're checking the list to see if it's sorted, and if it's not, we take two completely random elements from that list and swap them with each other, and then we check the list again to see if it's sorted. And we keep going until somehow our list gets perfectly sorted. Just to get us started, I have some pre-written code here that just creates an array of ints. Here we're just doing five ints to start out with, and then it just loops through that array and fills it up with random ints, basically between zero and 10,000. And then here is where we're going to code our wonderfully, ridiculously bad sorting algorithm. Afterwards, this just loops through our array and prints out all the numbers, hopefully in perfectly sorted order. I also have a pre-written private method here, is list sorted that just takes in an array of ints and returns a Boolean for whether or not that list is in perfect order. We'll use this method inside our algorithm to check whether the list is currently sorted. So let's just run our program a few times uh, without the sorting algorithm in place. And you can see that it's creating an array of random numbers and they're in uh, no particular order at all. So as I mentioned before, there's just a couple of things that our sorting algorithm actually has to do. Number one, check to see if our array is sorted. And number two, if it's not sorted, randomly choose two elements of that array and swap them. And just keep doing that forever until the array is sorted. So the first part of our algorithm, we need to check if the list is currently in order. So to do that, our algorithm is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be a while loop. And the condition of staying in our while loop is going to be while the array is still not sorted. So we'll just say not is list sorted and pass in our numbers array. So if we're looking at our numbers array and we find that it's not sorted, what do we have to do? Take two random elements of that array and swap them. To get two random elements, we really need two random indexes inside of our array. For example, here we have an array of size five. So we wanna randomly choose two indexes that are between zero and four. So let's get our first random index, uh, int index one equals, we're going to use our rand object that we created up here in order to fill our array in the first place and just call rand.nextInt. And we wanna pass in the length of our numbers array. So this will give us one random index of our array, but we need two of them so we can swap those two random elements. So int index two equals the same thing, rand.nextInt and pass in numbers.length. So now that we have our two random indexes in our array, we just need to swap them. So to swap two elements, typically you'll use a temp variable. So we'll say int temp equals numbers at index one. So we'll temporarily save the value with that first index to our temp variable. And then we'll assign the value at numbers index one to be whatever the current value is at numbers at index two. So now index one has the value that used to be at index two. After that, we just need to take numbers at index two and assign it to be the value that used to be at index one, which is temp. While the list is not sorted, we're gonna find two random elements and swap them. Once our array is magically sorted, we will leave this while loop and print out our list in perfectly sorted order. So let's go ahead and run it with our array of five random ints and see if it works. Okay. All right, excellent. So it's printing out our random list in perfectly sorted order. Smallest to largest, looks great. Now let's run it just a few more times to make sure it wasn't just a fluke. All right, perfect. And it's not taking long at all. It's pretty much finishing immediately, but let's step it up just a little bit. Instead of sorting five numbers, let's just try 12. Okay, here we go. Took a little bit longer there, about two seconds. Okay, let's just go a little bit higher, 13. Okay. That jump from 12 to 13 seems to be a big jump. Remember, this bozo sort algorithm isn't like most sorting algorithms, where it's like working its way slowly towards a solution. It's really just trying completely random combinations and just seeing if it works. So even if one time you run this and it takes just a few seconds to run, running it another time on the exact same size of array could take two, three, ten times as long. You don't know, it's just completely random how long it could take. All right, it has finished. Only took about 
seven minutes. Pretty brutally slow for sorting just 13 numbers. All right, so now we are going to test out 14 integers. Now remember, with Bogo Sword, this took about five hours. So with Bozo Sword, is it going to be one hour, 10 hours? The only way to find out is to run it. So there we go, it's running. As much as I'd love to just stare at this and contemplate what I'm doing with my life, I think I'll just see you back here when it finishes. So I'll see you then. All right, our 14 element Bozo Sword has completed. So it started at 10.39 p.m. and ended at 12.15 a.m. So it took um, about an hour and a half. Now, frankly, I'm surprised. That is way better than the five hours or so it took for Bogo Sword to do the same thing. So we're gonna do something here for Bozo Sort that we didn't do for Bogo Sort, and we are going to step it up to 15 integers. And here we go. All right, we're back in our 15 element Bozo Sort has completed. And again, it finished way sooner than I expected it to. Started about 7.15 and ended at nine o'clock. So it only took about an hour and 45 minutes. Now I say only, I mean, an hour and 45 minutes is still a ridiculously huge amount of time to sort just 15 numbers, but I expected it to maybe take all day or even longer because I think the time complexity of this algorithm is also big O of n factorial. But just because two algorithms have the same big O complexity doesn't mean they will always run in similar amounts of time. So I think one of two things could be happening, and maybe both. Number one, we could have just gotten super lucky, and our random swapping just happened to come to the exact right order really early in the process. Or what could also be happening is that in Bogo Sort, it had to shuffle the entire array each time. But over here in Bozo Sort, all it had to do was take two random elements and swap them. And I would think shuffling the whole array takes a lot more time, relatively speaking, than just swapping two elements. And because it has to do those operations probably billions of times in performing this algorithm, that's another thing that could make Bozo Sort just a little less terrible than Bogo Sort. If you have to pick some completely random sorting algorithm and you have to choose between Bogo Sort and Bozo Sort, I say Bozo Sort's your best bet. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the brand new Java video every single week. And I really do appreciate you doing that. It's the only way these videos get out to help more people. And be sure to grab the full source and the link down in the description if you want to pull this down and run it yourself. See you in the next video.